how many people does it take to carry a sandwich? Apparently three. Woo! Yeah. Hey everyone, Jalance here on a not chilly, but cooler evening in Stafford. Stafford, Texas, basically Houston area, guys, at what is one of the best and top rated three times by Yelp. Guys, today we're at Viet Witch. Viet Witch here doing an absolutely massive banh mi challenge. That's what they do, guys. Vietnamese sandwiches, Viet Witch, banh mi, you get it. So this is called the Munster Piece, I believe it's called. So essentially it is about seven banh mi's all pieced together, featuring all their specialties, including their uh, pork belly, their roasted pork, their beef, their chicken. There's more, I'll get somebody to tell me all about them. I do know for this challenge, it has a 50-ish dollar price tag, free if we can complete it in the one hour time limit. So this thing is very large. I think it's upwards of about five feet long. This is by all means, I think the biggest banh mi ever. The biggest banh mi I've ever seen. But anyway, that's all the details I know. We'll get some more info. But so that's heading in, has fun, eats food. Big, big, big Vietnamese sandwich. Let's go eat. Hi everyone, so here we are with the monster piece, which is absolutely insanely large. This is, what, like five feet? Yeah, just about. Guys, insane. So I'm here with Mr. Viet. Mr. Viet actually is the owner, founder of Viet Witch. Very, very suiting with a name like Viet. So walk us through exactly what we actually have in front of us here. Because I know we got all the basically classics, all the menu, um, everything from like tofu to, well, hey, you're the expert. Let me know what we got. All right. Well, uh, top it off first. All right. We're going to have the Dak Viet. So. Uh, if you walk the streets of Vietnam and they grab they have the food cart and they grab the hams and salami, this kind of version right there. You have the head cheese, you have the jad, you have the roast pork. And then we have our famous grilled pork. Uh, we use extensively marinated uh, with lemongrass, a bunch of other seasonings. Then we use the same marinade uh, for our beef and our chicken as well. And then we have our meatball, our Vietnamese uh, sumai here, uh, the steamed and light tomato sauce. Uh, has onions and uh, jicama inside the meatballs, uh, so very delicious. And uh, I think Joey probably like this one. This is our, our TKO, uh, kind of named after our tit call, which is basically a, a Vietnamese rice dish. Uh, we start with slabs of pork belly that we marinate and roast, and then we uh, we braise in coconut soda and fish sauce to reduce Ooh. it down to like a nice thick sauce. Sounds good. Yep, and it uh, comes with our pickled mustard greens that are fermented in house. Uh, so I have a nice yin yang of savory and uh, pickleness there. And then our last uh, but not least is our famous uh, tofu. I think this is probably the best tofu sandwich in the state of Texas. Uh, if you haven't had a tofu sandwich here, be like, oh no, it's hard rubbery. No, ours is hot, it's deep fried, crispy, comes with a nice savory uh, vegetarian sauce with gnocchi mushrooms. So definitely coming to Viet Witch, you gotta try our gnocchi tofu. So, well, seeing the best for less. Hey, at that, I have no words needed. I don't need to explain <laughs> anything. You got it all there. Well, hey, thanks for walking us through that, my yeah. friend. Appreciate it. All right. And that, guys, we'll start here just momentarily. Cool. Everybody ready if I get going? All right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So where to start? That is a great question. Um, hmm. Actually, this is a actually a cool. This is like a, the one that's kind of a more of like a cold cut. So I'll maybe leave that for last. Maybe I'll just kind of dive right in. I'll be that person. I'll take maybe something from the middle just to really bug everybody. <laughs> so how about we get started? Maybe I'll start with this lovely looking uh, beef right here. Ooh, actually it smells really, really good. And again, they do marinate all these thingy things. I got the nice sections here. I don't even have a belt on, perfect. Let's say uh, two, one, let's eat. Yeah! yeah. You guys can talk yeah. and stuff, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cilantro on there. Yeah. Mm. Very, very fresh. Oh, that mm. house made What's that sauce in there? That special secret sauce. Joe? Midwood sauce. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Secret sauce is delicious. Mm. 
those pickled vegetables. Woo! Mmm. Very good. I'll put it this way. I actually really like bon mis. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are here taking on the world's biggest bon mi sandwich challenge. So this thing was absolutely giant and I was oh so excited to dive on into this. So I love banh mi's. If you're not familiar with what a banh mi is, it is a Vietnamese sandwich generally served on a, some people call it like a French-ish loaf, but generally a white um, bread or bun, however you want to call it, resembling a submarine bun, usually with a nice soft inside, a nice crisp outside. Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Sandwich number one almost complete. Let's go, Joe! Sandwich number two almost complete. He's just enjoying it though. If any of them enjoy it. are as good as this one, we're in for a heck of a treat. This is awesome. And they kind of use, use a bread, which I guess is more like traditionally Vietnamese, so you get Vietnam, but it's very soft. Mm. And then they toast it. It's very nice. It is then filled with a whole variety of different ingredients, usually a meat of choice. Uh, often a lot of the meats are marinated in some sort of a lemongrass or cooked with some sort of lemongrass, giving this lovely flavor. But then there is usually uh, pickled vegetables like carrots. There are often jalapenos. There's often cilantro and all these other just delicious flavors, sometimes mayonnaises, sometimes pâtés, a lot of stuff. All the time with chicken on next. Pretty much the same thing, some toppings, but mm. I'm excited to see what this one's like. As I said, the last one was fantastic. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so then we are here with the monster piece. Get it like masterpiece, monster piece. So this giant bon mi sandwich. As we kind of said, it had the seven different varieties. Um, which was really cool. It gave a great way not only to try everything, um, but it really kind of made it nice and manageable and easy to eat as it was like all sectioned off instead of like one large piece of bread. What is flavor on that chicken? I get a little bit like, I would try that just like grill kind of dish. Definitely marinate it. What kind of, what's the sauce? Is there a sauce in this one too? Uh, it's all that lady right there. She like really works the the smearing into the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Becky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for all the meats. There are also some really kind of more interesting uh, or different, I guess you could say, varieties that we had here, um, such as the one which is called the Dat Viet, which had like a head cheese, uh, which I was really interested to try. Never had head cheese before. Um, and then the different salamis, kind of hams and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Um, we had ones with the Vietnamese meatball. Often people have these in uh, pho or at least a variant in pho. Um, and just like I said, a whole bunch of other different nice, awesome looking sandwiches here. We were trying to get that 50-ish, 50 to 60 uh, dollar sandwich for free. You know, thank you taxes. Um, but yeah, besides that, that's pretty much the majority info. We did have the 60 minutes of new, like it was, it's a big one. Pickled vegetables and cilantro and cucumber and everything on this is so underrated guys. This is just, it's just so fresh. Mm. There's a pretty cool story behind Viet Witch. Um, so I guess basically the gentleman started selling banh mi's out of a gas station. Originally they just had the tofu and then the pork, kind of the ones they were the most famous for. From there they got a brick and mortar um, and obviously a few more sandwiches on the menu. So it's always cool to hear kind of the success stories and I definitely see why. I mean they've gotten Yelp awards and uh, I gotta say I would definitely enjoy all my flavors and tastes so far. Like I said, you guys don't have to be good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this next one, we got the pork going on. Or just so our five pork, minutes in. The pork. I just said the main is on here too. Super, super delicious. Give this one a shot. The gentleman says the famous pork. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Oh yeah. 
At that though, everybody, uh, let's tune on in. Let's ultimately see if we can complete the monster piece. Um, definitely a big sandwich. And uh, I mean, just, it was hilarious to watch them, you know, try and take this out of the kitchen. It's definitely a big, big, big sandwich. That being said, let me know down below if you have a favorite kind of banh mi. Again, often the lemongrass chicken, roast pork, very, very common. But let me know down below. And at that, let's ultimately tune on in and see what happens. That is really good. Is there secret sauce in this one too? Yeah. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Speaking of ways, I really don't know what's in it. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> I'm a big egg on, usually burger, but egg on bond <laughs> meat. <laughs> Never had it. It's a little late, let's be honest. <laughs> if it wasn't late, I would definitely go for the egg on the sandwich. That sounds delicious. Hey, I, I'll go back and make an egg real quick. Yeah, you make an egg real quick. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to make an egg? Yeah, yeah there you go. Make the egg. 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 Alright, There you go, guys. We're getting an egg in there. Now this is the TKO sauce, all right? Yes, sir. Try that out. Ooh, it's definitely about like oil, that. oil base. No. Yeah. Oh, it has a lot of that pork belly fat in there. That double dip. Whoa! <laughs> that double dip. I'm a new sandwich, bro. No, lots of flavor. Very, very good. Right. Very good. Let's go do the. Famous tofu, one of the other OGs. So this got one of your vegetarian sauce you call it on it? What do you yeah, call it? Yeah, vegetarian enoki mushroom sauce. Mm. That is really, really, I don't think I've ever had anything quite like that. It tastes really good. It's very rich. Definitely got the umami from all those mushrooms. It's a little sour, there's a little sourness to it. A little sweetness. You're definitely right, that tofu is butter soft. Softer than butter. What's softer than butter? Air? <laughs> it's very, very nice and airy. Yeah, Try to put, <laughs> put a little sauce in. I want to see the, uh, isolate the flavor of that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. A little like almost soy in there. Mm. Mm. Oh. Very right, flavorful. Run away. Yeah. <laughs> like nope. <laughs> I, was, I really like that. I have just never had quite a flavor like it before. I think we're about twelve minutes in. I'm not mistaken. Just over halfway. A lot of food. It's a huge, huge, huge sandwich. Right set. Loving the flavor so far. I understand why they are it's not only so popular, but they have so much fame for their bottom meat. Yeah. I'm gonna hey, go for the pork belly anyway. Pork belly right now. The delay was there, so let's get keep on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh my. There you go. So that's the TKO yeah, style. That's TKO. So that pork belly with those greens, those mustard greens, mm. adds a really, really, really strong punch of flavor. Bonus round, bonus <laughs> round. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah. That's the way yeah. to do it. Yeah. Runny yolk, <laughs> sandwich. Five hmm. almost down. Wow. Eggs on the sandwich, people. <laughs> there we go. Bonus egg round. No. Everybody, <laughs> sixteen minutes in. Very delicious. No shortage of food. I think we got the, what's this one called again? Uh, the Dak Viet. The Dak Viet. And then we have the meatball. I'd say arguably some of the most traditional Vietnamese. Yeah, my two favorite ones. His two favorite. Wait for a try it. Now we got eggs on here. We'll put a few of these crispy shallots. shallots or onions here. Just flavor it up. I'll try the one with the head cheese for last. Head cheese, guys. Let me know down in the comment if you've ever had head cheese before. <laughs> this will be my first time. In the meantime, let's try this meatball. <laughs> Excuse me. Call us the chef. There you go. Make it room. We gotta make room. <laughs> exactly. They're having that room. Definitely gonna be a little bit over there. That's the professional belt right there. <laughs> Believe it or not, you gotta, I had to train to burp like that. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's clear out the give this passageway. a go. Not sure how to. I mean, this egg is definitely throwing it off. Let's see what it's all about. I think I said, yeah, I made those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. How are the meatballs cooked? They're steamed and light tomato sauce. I really like the flavored sauce on them. That's compliments of uh, <laughs> Chef Alex. He made meatballs. How much is that out? Beautiful flavor. Actually, I really like this. Meatball is super, super rich. So I've had the Vietnamese meatballs a couple times and a lot of different foods. This is probably the best tasting one I've had to be honest. It doesn't have like any like super strong distinct flavors, it's just also balanced with so there's really meaty pork meat, porky richness, so shout out. Get some shrapnel and clean it up. Nice. Woo! Alright. Very nice. Last but not least, the most traditional, now with an egg, now with crispy shallots. And with head cheese. Let's see what it's all about. Head cheese. Tarine is also a word for head cheese. Yep. Tarine. Tureen? Mm -hmm. Tureen. Yep. I like head cheese better. <laughs> it's more oomph in your face. <laughs> and it, is it what, the monster, monster witch or whatever? So, months. Monster piece. Monstrosity, monster piece, there you go. Give me a second to kind of pinpoint about some of those flavors. It's very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> El Supremo. Kind of too similar to the meatball. They're definitely the same kind of spices in there. Kind of just with the ham and everything. It's very good. It's just really with all the pickled vegetables. Mm. Soft yolk. 
Yeah. 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 And some secret sauce from this one too? Yep. Yeah, extra secret sauce. Extra. Oh, dripping. Oh, dripping. Oh, dripping. Oh, dripping. Oh, dripping. Oh, dripping. Very good. <laughs> that was a great bite. <laughs> oh. Runny egg and secret sauce. Please. to describe the side like it's, it's very of like pardon me taste of Vietnam well, <laughs> so that's pretty much what I was going to say I was going to say it just tastes very like you definitely taste the kind of Vietnamese spices in there and it's fantastic so taste of Vietnam I like it maybe you have to go to Vietnam one day let me know if I should do that down below yeah there you go there you go come on Somewhere around, I want to say like 25, 40, oh, maybe 25, 40, I think it was. But guys, very, very, very good. Hold on, there's definitely a burp coming. There's a brew on. Go come. Very, very good. Really enjoyed it. If I was to pick a favorite, hmm, that's tough. I'll give you a variety of my favorites. I really, really liked the beef. The beef was fantastic. I love that flavor, that secret sauce. That just kind of hit right off the note. This, t the, uh, the, uh, Dat, Dat Viet. Dat Viet was actually really surprisingly good. Not that I didn't expect it to be good, but I didn't know what to expect. And it far exceeded my expectations. It was not, in my opinion, anything that would be like, there's no different flavors. There was no like, oh wow, what is this? It was, uh, I'd say actually really for flavors that I was quite familiar with. Just kind of like, you, like it tastes like Vietnam. Very, very good. I loved the bread on it. The bread was super soft super moist and just like that's what I want when you're having a, a bond meat you want like that nice soft kind of airy bread with that nice crispy outside and they definitely satisfied that I could go on they're all very very nice but yeah guys I got to say very delicious for so for completion we are going to get the meal for free uh, that was awesome though uh, so huge thanks to everybody here at Viet Witch appreciate you guys thank you all so much I definitely recommend coming on by. You definitely do not need to consume this. <laughs> Try all seven, but on like seven, maybe four or five, six different occasions, if that makes sense. Or the catering packs for friends and family. Or the catering pack for friends and family. But I mean, if you're coming as a family, then you can try them all. Well, yeah, guys, absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed it here, guys. Um, super cool that, you know, this area, uh, just outside Houston, offers such amazing sandwiches they are award-winning for a reason and uh, i'm very excited to have visited viet witch today so that everyone huge thanks to all the staff they've been fantastic food is great i got no complaints so of course the next time buddy say happy and hungry happy eating that's about it so till next time have a good day
delicious. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.